Okay, we're going to look at regression lines here and what it's all about. Well, there's different types of um, data points, you know, that we look at different types of data. Uh, we have um, X information and Y information, and it could be uh, that the number of cars, say, on a highway, you've got two sets of data, and there's a relationship between how many cars are on the highway and how many accidents you have. Well, if it was a linear relationship, it might look something like this. The more cars you have on the road, the more accidents you have. But if it was like a quadratic relationship, it would look like a parabola. And then you'd, it, would, it, it, it seems a little strange that it could possibly be like this. But as the cars go, uh, more cars come, you get more accidents. And then at some point, all the accidents stop happening. Well, maybe, maybe it could happen. Who knows? But it forms a parabola, and that would be the relationship. Or maybe just the more cars you have, it gets exponentially worse. But what you um, we're looking for here in regression is a line of best fit that we're going to draw through these things. Well, here's an example here. We've got a publishing company that recorded the number of books sold each month for a year. Here's first month, second month, all the way to the 12th month. There's the number of books sold with different numbers. And then we just plot it. The number of months in the bottom here. We plot the number of months in the bottom. And we um, plot the number of books sold up here. Well, it looks like these are all going, except, hey, one's way out there. It's called an outlier. And it kind of is throwing your data off. But here's all your points here. It looks like as as the months go on, the number of books sold go up. So it looks like a linear relationship. But how do we deal with this in a, um, how do we make a, a line that might go through these points that would be closest to all these points? Well, that's called a, a, the regression line of best fit. And how do we get it? Well, this is what we do. This is what we do. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring a calculator up here. And what we do is we take the months, and I'm going to actually do it right here. We go to mode. Sorry, we, we're going to clear everything here. We go to mode, and then to stat. And we're going to pick this thing here, A plus BX. We're actually going to find a regression line. B is the gradient, and A is the y-intercept of the line. So let's just press 2 and see what it looks like. Whoa, they give us an X and Y um, um, place to put uh, variables in here, or to put data in. And so, well, here's our points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And look, they've left out 6 because it's an outlier. Well, let's just put it in. We could go, well, 1 uh, equals, and, and then we're going to go 2 and the third month, and the fourth month, and all the way along the fifth month. We're not going to put in the sixth month because that was a, a crazy score. But then we'll put in the seven, we'll put in the eight, and nine, and ten, and the eleven, and the twelve. So there's actually eleven months that we're going to put in. See, eleven pieces of data. We go right back to the beginning, and let's put in how many books were sold in the first month. It's 10. What's great about this is you can, and you press equals after each one, and then 22, and then equals, and then 20, and then equals, and then 38, and then equals, and then 46, and then equals, and then the one that went with the seventh month is 62. So 62, and then equals 61, and equals, and 74 and equals, we're almost finished. And 88 and equals, and 86 and equals. Now, the nice thing about this is you can go back and check your data. In fact, maybe this is a good one here because you see this 12th piece of data? It should be, um, it should be um, going with 86. It should be going with 86 here so we we've got 11 pieces of data but it hasn't quite worked out so i missed one i guess i did it too fast let's go backwards and put in 86 the next one's got to be um 88 ah, i did something wrong there so and the next one's got to be 74 
there should be 11 pieces of data. Whoops, 74. And then we'll just go back in here and go 61. And we're putting equals each time. I should be getting there. And then, oh, 61. And then 62. Maybe I put in what something twice. So now it's kind of working. And with the next one, should be 48. And then 46. Hey, I think it all works now. So 10, 22, 20, 38. Gee, it, see, maybe this was a good exercise to show you. You can go back and check and make sure you've put in all your data exactly right. And now I see it's all, all 11 pieces of data are in. Then you hit all AC. You clear it. You clear everything. You hit press AC. Then go shift down to one where it says stat. And the, num the thing we're looking for is number five, the regression line. And all this stuff here tells you different things here. B is the... Um, Gradient. So you go 2 equals 6.89. You round it off to the nearest tenth, 6.9x. So it's bx. Then we, we clear it. We go back to the regression thing, 5. And we now are going to get the y-intercept, which is number 1. And look, it's 5.3 rounded off. Well, this is your regression line here. It's the regression line, and it tells you um, the line that best fits through all these points. And that's what we've got right here. So that y equals that y equals 6.9x plus 5.3 is the line of best fit that goes through everything here. Now all you have to do, the y-intercept is right about 5.3. You can actually pick any point along here. Uh, you could pick 8 or 9, or whatever, you will get the value that fits in the line. You can draw the line. Um, they kind of like it that you not go beyond the data points. You can stop the line right here. Stop the line depending on what numbers that you put in from 1 to 12. Don't go beyond it. And some books say it's nice to put in the mean point. Find the average of the x values, put that in, and get the mean point on the line. Well, that's about it. That's the information they want. How can you use that? Well, say they asked you how many books would be sold after 24 months. After 24 months, well, you put 24 in there. And you get this number uh, when you put it in, 170.9 books. That's called extrapolation. That's way beyond your graph, and it's a little bit dangerous extrapolation sometimes, but that's that would be your prediction. What would be a little bit better is how many books were sold halfway through the 10th month. You put in 10.5 into your formula, and you'll get an, uh, a prediction for how many books it would be sold. And that's called interpolation. That's called interpolation. Okay, well, that's how you'd use this thing. The um, line of best fit, there it goes right through here. Remember, you just have to, you want to, if you want to graph that line, just what you need for a line, you, there's the y-intercept, and put in another point there, maybe right in the middle, the mean point's a good one, 6.5, and then just connect them and you'll get your line of best fit. Well, I hope that helped.